It's 6 a.m. outside the Bank of England, the symbol of wealth and power, and the patrol begins. It's hard enough being homeless in a London winter, but for the Eastern Europeans with little language and no support, it can become a deadly spiral. Here, a Polish charity called Barker cooperates with British outreach workers to convince the destitute to accept offers of free transport home and then intensive rehabilitation. With unemployment soaring, Eastern European workers are often the first to be sacked. This Estonian man is sleeping rough next to a vent of warm air. He's in a bad way, but for months has refused to go home. Outreach worker Stanislav Sherba was once an alcoholic himself. Every night he tries to help others who are ill-prepared for life without money in London. Due to lack of support group, lack of family, neighbours, parish, they go in, they reach for the bottle. Already hundreds of Poles have accepted the free bus ride home and the weeks or months of therapy in Poland. It's a system that's attracted interest from social workers throughout Europe, including Britain, but the homeless have to want to go. We encourage people to return back to Barca programs for social inclusion in Poland as they have no recourse to public funds here and no assistance is available for them here in the United Kingdom. While British homeless qualify for state support, including housing, most Polish workers get nothing. I, I, I can't do nothing with them. Um, I can't get them into accommodation because uh, they, they can't claim benefits. Um, they can get some medical treatment, but it's at a push. You know, so I, it means that they're en they end up staying on the street because I can't get them in. That leaves people like Marian Czeski on the streets, sleeping in bus shelters. He used to work in the Polish film industry and left his family in Poland to make money working in UK construction. But a broken leg and stolen papers have left him unemployable. He still has his pride, but that's why he won't go home. Of course, I consider returning back home. I have a family in Poland. The family is waiting for me. My only problem is that I do not have enough money to return to Poland in a dignified way. While he speaks optimistically of better days, with two million officially unemployed by Christmas, his chances are slim. A potentially fatal combination of alcohol, cold and despair awaits. Philip Williams, Lateline.